What's going on guys so uh today i want to talk about the gloves i bought from ebay i got them for roughly around i think 17 18 dollars or something like that they are called the icon but not like icon as in the popular brand icon they are iicon they're basically a knockoff but they're the icon pursuits so this is the glove pretty nifty Pretty cool. For the price I paid, these things have definitely been worth it. They got padded knuckles, all that good stuff. They're not super thick, I imagine. I haven't gone down in them, but uh, I would imagine if you like sat there and you were going at a pretty decent rate and you try to put your hands down, that would probably shred after a little bit, but they do offer a little bit of extra protection to try to keep that from happening. But all together is riding gloves. I mean, I think that they were definitely worth the money. They were very cheap. And they're pretty good quality for the price, honestly. Like, I expected, you know, most cheap gloves to have, like, weird ends to the fingers. Like, a lot of times they'll have this really thick end that you, like, I don't know, it's just a pain. It's hard to explain, but a lot of times they'll have that. These aren't like that at all. I got the, I believe these are the larges. Yeah. I got the larges, and, I mean, they fit really good for me. Now, I've got smaller hands than most people, so I guess not than most people. But I've got smaller hands than most of my friends. So, these gloves probably, if you got the XL, would fit an average person a lot better. They're not over, overly hot on uh, warm days. I haven't had an issue with my hands being extremely too hot or anything like that. I do have two complaints with these and only two complaints. Um, one is this knuckle protector right here. Not on this hand, but just this hand. It was digging into my knuckle for a little while. I don't know if my hands just had to get used to them, but that completely stopped about two, three weeks ago. Hadn't had that issue happen again since. And then another is right, which one is it? On one of these fingers, I've got this little tiny hole. Not enough to do anything, but it's there. Right there. I don't know if you can focus on that. Just a little tiny, little tiny hole. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can't see my finger through it, so I still think there's something in between it. And I haven't been extremely aggressive on these gloves. Uh, as far as time span goes, I don't really know how long I had them. I know since I've been riding with these gloves, I've put a little bit under 2,000 miles on my bike. So in 2,000 miles, I managed to get a little tiny hole in the glove. But for 20 bucks, can you really complain? So yeah, these are the little uh, Icon I-I-C-O-N Pursuit Gloves. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you watch all my other videos, I ride them all the time. They're really comfortable in riding. They're really grippy. I will say I, I I can use my LG phone with it but if you've got a phone that's like heat based or anything like that as far as the touch screen on it it probably won't work so well other than for that yeah these gloves in my opinion are definitely worth it so I'll put a link in the description so if you want to get yourself a pair like I said under 20 bucks most gloves like most decent gloves are usually around 60 70 bucks or so so I feel like they're pretty good they also have them in a uh, perforated leather like the little cross whatever and then they have the solid ones like this I just chose the solid ones and again even though the other ones are perforated I feel like these do just fine on hot days so definitely worth it these are like uh, my budget gloves and I honestly think when these wear out I'll probably just get another pair of these just uh, subscribe to my channel like the video if you enjoyed it um, I'm gonna be doing 10 more other reviews I did one for the uh, LG tone platinums uh, that's on there eBay header wrap I'm going to be doing one for my eBay taillights. Uh, I forgot to get some night footage of it last night, so I didn't create that video. But uh, I plan on getting like footage of how it looks during the day and how it looks during the night and all that good stuff. So I plan on doing a ton of reviews, especially mostly budget stuff, because I am very cheap and I don't like to spend too much money. So check out my channel. Please subscribe. I uh, appreciate it. You all have a nice day.